paper, it can be difficult because of the shapes. All right. So finding the contrast between the darks and the lights and where they belong in the shapes um, will help tremendously. So that kind of leads us into values and understanding our values. So let's talk a little bit about values. Um, we got to find our lightest lights and our darkest darks. And this is one that I use. This is a, a um, technique that I use with my students at school. Um, but like say, okay, so I use this picture. I printed out a picture of some nice green leaves. Okay, so they have tons of value in there. Like you can see them, but there's so many variations that it can get confusing, right? So we might see all this craziness going on in there. We don't know where to start. We don't know how to, I mean, we see like the dark pieces here and then we see light pieces here. And they're so like, um, they're so just like contrasting with each other that sometimes we don't see the in-betweens. So this is what's gonna help you. <clears throat> Every picture that I do, I print out a colored piece and then I print out a black and white piece. Okay, so this is this will break break up all of that color. Okay, so now you see the values. All right. Along with this, I like to make what's called a value scale. Have has anybody ever made a value scale? You can put it in the chat. So a value scale matches your picture, and I have I have ten boxes. Okay, so Mark, this might help you. So this is my value picture. And then I have what's called a value scale. Okay. So hopefully you're not reading this backwards like I am. <laughs> so this is we start with 10 boxes. Okay, we have one big box with 10 sections. Okay. And I'm going to start with the white of the paper and the darkest dark. And this is just done in graphite. It's just to help me see my values clearer. Okay. And then I fill in all the in-betweens. Okay. So my mid-tones between my light and my dark. And then this will help. Let me overlay. This will help if I'm looking like, okay, what value is that? Well, this is that value. Could be a little darker. And then you just kind of like, look, okay, that one matches. You know, you're just like looking around to see. So if you're struggling with values, a value scale helps tremendously just because it helps you differentiate. And also it will help you understand that if you're going too light, if you're going too dark. So if I thought maybe this right here, if I, my brain is telling me to go this, this dark or this light, however you want to look at that, when I hold my value scale up to it, it doesn't match. And then my brain goes, oh, I need to go darker right? So that is super, super helpful. So again, to make a value scale, you just you make your, your rectangle, and you have 10 sections. Okay. And then you make your lightest light, darkest dark, and then you fill in everything in between up to your darkest dark. 